The World Skeptics Congress, Paranormal, Supernatural, Fringe Science, Pseudoscience and How It Really Is. Berlin welcomes you. I mean, one of the things that he has in his poster, which I think is very appropriate, is uh, pointing out that science is not Western science. It's universal, just as the skeptical movement is. And it is not confined to a nation, to a single culture. It's not Western and it's not Eastern. It's just something that's valid everywhere around the world. It's, in fact, um, a system of thinking that is open, that corrects itself, and that, I think, provides the best possible explanation of reality that we can find, much better than any of the competitors. And these laws of nature do not um, consider national, political or religious uh, preconceptions about the way the world should be, but looks at the world the way it is. And um, in this kind of universality that science has and the skeptical movement has, we should, I think, not be speaking about Western science at all. Because people from all over the world can contribute to science and have been participating in it, not only now, but even if you look back at antiquity, it was not only in Greece that we had science and critical thinking emerge. We have had similar cases in Persia, in China, in India, and probably you would find it elsewhere even if there had been records of it. Now, if you look at the universal side of science and look at the opposite that you have, that is pseudoscience. What is the first thing that you see there? You would see that uh, there are terms that are used, qualifiers, uh, that are very objectionable in some cases. If you look back in the 30s of uh, German history, they spoke of German physics. Um, if you look today around, we find that people talk about Christian science, they talk about Chinese medicine, they talk about Vedic mathematics, and whenever such qualifiers are used, I think for skeptics it should be time when the alarm bells ring. James Randi used to say he has an alarm bell that rings off immediately. And I think when you hear such qualifiers like Western, uh, Eastern, uh, Chinese, and um, other things like that, we should really start being very critical. That's clearly an indication that we're not talking about science, but rather about chauvinism, about nationalism, and other ideologies that are trying to pose, masquerade as science. So our program today and tomorrow and the day after will also be looking at some of these dangers coming from this sectarian way of thinking. We're going to be starting today with uh, uh, the attack on education, on science education. For example, not only from the Christian fundamentalist point of view, but also looking at the Islamic variant of creationism where they're again talking about a specific worldview that is opposed to science and trying to uh, prevent the teaching of science in schools in um, many parts of the world. So when we hear about um, qualifiers like um, in medicine, let's take medicine as another example. When we start hearing qualifiers like um, this is Chinese medicine, we already spoke about that, you could hear about Ayurvedic medicine, if you hear about Christian or Islamic medicine at some stage, or if you hear about alternative, complementary, or integrative uh, medicine, the question should come up, why are they using these kinds of qualifiers? Is it not medicine? And I think this is exactly the distinction we should see that science, again, is universal, so we should not be looking at qualifiers. Somebody made a nice uh, comment once about alternative medicine that was, what do you call alternative medicine that has been shown to work. It's just medicine. The World Skeptics Congress, Paranormal, Supernatural, Fringe Science, Pseudoscience and How It Really Is. We're skeptically interrogating you.